coming into your YouTube airwaves, it's Vaughn, the Statman, and welcome to the Stat Room. Woo! Good morning out there, and welcome to the Stat Room. <clears throat> All right, ladies and gentlemen, so before I get into this video, guys, let me introduce myself. Guys, I am Vaughn the Statman. You can follow me on Twitter, at Vaughn the Statman, and guys, check out the website, VaughnTheStatman.com. All right, guys, so... I lost my voice, so bear with me, guys. I know y'all probably wondering, like, what is up with the voice? I know I, I got that grown, deep radio voice right now. I actually like the way it sounds. I think we need to promote more deep, strong voices, and we should demand to have more voices like mine on TV. You don't really hear grown man voices commentating the ESPN and stuff like that. You have a little bit softer voices, in my personal opinion. But anyways, so let me get right into this video, guys. Got a six-game slate on tap, guys. This is, this is the slates that I like to play the most. I am the most successful in four to eight game slates because when you have a 10 game slate and an 11 game slate, let me explain to you why it's so hard to cash in those slates. I'm gonna give you a tip that I've never given on a video before. This is gonna be a tip that if you listen to this, this will probably help you to take down tournaments. When you see big slates, this is only for big slates, guys. This does not matter in small slates like tonight's six-game slate. When you see a 10-game slate, guys, you want to get, if you have nine players, you want a minimum of seven players in the first three games played. So if you have a 7 o'clock game, a 7.30 game, and an 8 o'clock, you want to get three to four players in that 7 o'clock slate and then you want to get another another five by the 730 slate. So by 730, you only want to have two slots available max. You really want to get all of them. Guys, from my experience, what I've seen only in big slates, when you're talking about nine slate, nine games or bigger, I haven't seen too many of those slates where your whole lineup was based in the late slates. And what happens is the later slates, you'll see the bigger name players. So you'll just say, okay. Let me put Paul George in because he's 10-5. He's playing against this weaker team. And in the earliest league, you won't even consider a, a Haywood who has a great matchup. Or you won't consider, you know, someone like a like someone from Detroit, like tonight. I think Detroit's gonna keep it close with Philly. But um, I'm not gonna ramble on and on, guys. But just remember when you play them big slates, I wouldn't even look at the at the late slates. I maybe would grab one player or so. But try to get your, your players in the earlier slates. And if you don't believe me, go look at the last five winning million dollar lineups and see that they have most of their players in the late slate or early slate. Just do your own research and see for yourself. All right, let's get right into it, guys. So you got Doncic as the highest point guard on the slate. I like him against San Antonio, but I think you could do better. Now, Curry is the one late slate player. Like, today it doesn't matter. You can go late slate early slate it's only a six game slate so it doesn't really matter today moran had an off game for his first time all season young young is a consistent 40 to 42 point score bill hasn't hit 40 points yet something tell me tonight he will but a point guard that i love tonight my favorite point guard on this slate is lonzo ball lonzo ball father should be dad of the year he is the best sports father and one of the best dads on the planet he's a, a father who would not let the system run his kids so he said with his young kid i'm not gonna let ucla or none of these colleges make money off my kid so i'm gonna send my kid to college overseas i'm gonna let him play overseas where he can get paid he can learn to be a professional and he can make money off of his name how many people out there that's watching this video would love to have a father like that that man should be dad of the year and i, I salute him but he told us that both of his kids would be balling. And both of his kids are number one in their conferences once they got a fair opportunity. Ball is the truth. Next, at the shooting guard position, guys, I'm gonna give you Bradley Beal. I think that last night he got into a rhythm. It's a short, it's a short commute from Boston to DC. Probably a 45 minute flight, maybe an hour, maybe. But the team they're playing in Atlanta had to fly from New Orleans, which is a way longer flight. And Bradley Beal got a chance to sleep in his own bed. And if you saw what happened to the Lakers, what happened to the Lakers last night? This is gonna be the same result. Atlanta gonna be, come out with all this energy in the first two quarters, and they're gonna wear it down as the game go on. 
So I think this is Bradley Bill's coming out party, guys. I think he goes for 40 plus. Now, at the small forward position, guys, I'm going with DeRozan. I love DeRozan in this matchup. I just think against New York, he's gonna play extremely well. And DeRozan is, he's finally in a system that fits him, where he doesn't have to be the, the focal point, because it's, it's, it's really Levine and Vucevic. And now he can be the third option, which means that he's 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 never gonna be, be trapped or anything. He's gonna just be one-on-one -on -one the whole time. This is perfect. He's like the third option. And on this this team, it's a four-man team. So it doesn't matter first option. He's going to give you 30 to 40 fantasy points pretty much every night. Only thing that might hurt him is if he have a bad shoot night, but he's going to always get rebounds and assists because, well, all these guys can score. All right, and last but not least, the boomstick play of the night is none other than I'm giving you Kyle Kuzma, guys. I think Kyle Kuzma is going to be someone that's going to be low on tonight but i think he's going to do extremely well against atlanta like i told you as the game wear on atlanta's going to come out with a an immense amount of energy because they are young so for the first two quarters they're going to come out with a bunch of energy but as the game go on i think washington is going to have the advantage because they're at home so i love the home team on back-to-backs because they slept in their own bed now guys i do a lot of traveling and when you sleep in your own bed you typically have more energy than when you sleep in a hotel in my personal experience, and I also played sports. All right, guys, so that's it, guys. So you got Kuzma, DeRozan, Bill, and Ball. All right, guys, so that's it, guys. So guys, don't forget to win-win. That means give people what they want, so you get what you want. And guys, don't forget to think in it. That means write it down so that way it can come true. If you made it after this far, guys, hit that like button, and also hit that subscribe button so you don't miss my future videos. Love you guys.